Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial series. What we'll be talking about today is a CPU progress bar. You know, in most cases, both online and applications, you see a progress bar to indicate the progress of maybe a registration process, a download process, and all that. So this is an example of it using Adreno Uno. As you can see, it's all wired up and programmed. This is the screen. Let me carefully zoom in so you can see. Here we go. Now we have a clearer screen. So this is the progress bar which usually reads from 0 to 100. So let's just wash it. Once it gets to 100, the system recycle. So what we have here is, is basically three components to get this done. You have the system by 2 LCD, you have the IC2 module which makes the connection of the screen a bit easier. Then we have the Arduino Uno, as you can see here. So this is the screen, it has counted to 100 and it has recycled. So let me just leave it on the screen so you see it here to 100 and it will recycle back to 0 and start all over. There we go. So right now, let's just dive into how we can get this done. So let's go into our screen. So we'll do the circuit connection explanation. Hello guys. So what we'll be talking about here is a CPU progress bar. I'll be telling you what the CPU is consuming at every given point in time. But in this case, we're just going to do a little demo of how a progress bar runs. From 0 to 100, it loops back. 0 to 100, it loops back. So that is basically the operation of a progress bar. Whatever you're going to be using it for, you need to configure to indicate the real progress of whatever you'll be doing. So in this case, like I said before, we'll be using the, we're progressing from the initial Arduino interface with LCD I2C. So the connection is still here. The only thing is, I removed the code because this time the, the code is going to be different. So I'll just paste this cache here. Here we go. This is a long line of code to explain, but basically, this is just what you need to know. This cache here, this is the I2C library, which basically initializes this screen. To this, why this addresses the issue between the Arduino Uno and this screen. Basically, what it does, like I explained in the other video, this line of code tells the Arduino Uno this is where this is located. So push the data through this channel, which is this address bar here 0x27 16,2. 16,2 indicates the character space of this. As you can see here, this is a 16 by 2. We also have a 16 by 4, which has 16 character in terms of the length, and the height here is 4 character width. In this case, we are just using the 2. So basically, these are what defines the character blocks in this pixel. You know, each of these character here has a block. 16 blocks for example on this so each of those blocks is capable of holding every alphabet a to z so this is where those characters will be printed on each of those block will hold a percent so for instance let me just run it so you see what i'm talking about as you can see here cpu the progress bar in the case from 0 to 100, once it gets to 100, it loops back again, it goes back to 1, I start counting. You see, 100 like that, 0, 1 like that. So it keeps looping, and this line of code here basically tells it what to do. Now, this area here is what indicates each of these columns. Column 1 is able to hold up to, but 8 or 10 percent 
like that. So each of the column holds different percentage and all that. So basically, this code is a bit complex, but if you just need to try this out, feel free to use this code to be in the description. So feel free to try it. And let's see. We'd like to hear from you if it works. And again, I will also upgrade this and add a gauge to this. I will upgrade this by adding this a GPU gauge. This is a CPU and a GPU. So each of them will have their own progress bar indicated here. So that is going further with this. But basically, this is just how this works. Feel free to play around with the code, edit as you please, and see how it goes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.